Last night, an unusual opportunity knocked on my door. Naturally, I was a little suspicious, but my visitor said the job was too sensitive to go through the usual channels. He claimed that an old contact of mine told him where to find me. I was about to ask him who our mutual friend was when he managed to distract me. The job is to break into Shoalsgate Station, headquarters at a city watch, and quietly frame a certain Lieutenant Hagen for robbing the evidence vault. Hagen is Sheriff Truett's number two man, and has no doubt made life difficult for someone he shouldn't have. My unusually resourceful employer has given me all the information I need to pull this off, including a very detailed map of the building. All I have to do is choose a way in, plan my route, and get back out without alerting the bulls. I realize that breaking into Shoalsgate is like looking down a Burrick's mouth with a lit match, but it would pay me enough to lay low for a while and it doesn't hurt to be giving the police some dirty laundry to deal with either. Besides, with my luck, if I don't take this job, I could end up in there anyway. Ooh, we're actually going uh, into the city watch station. Difficulty normal, I think this is enough here to be, uh, to be going on with without increasing to these. Arg! Eek! But yeah, normal. Normal is what we're going to do. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to frame someone. The frame won't stick if the city watch suspects you were involved. Don't knock out or kill more than five guards. So what? Like, generally in a night, you know, five guards will get knocked out or just randomly die. Okay. Although I suspect... Um, don't knock out or kill anyone. Yeah, okay. So that, that, that that's that's fair enough. And there's that's two. Okay. Alright, I get that. Um, go to Lieutenant Hendricks and grab a personal item of his to be used for framing him. Drop the personal item in the vault in the third floor. Steal the strong box in the vault and leave it in Lieutenant Hendricks office. Oh, well. There we go. Okay. That sounds simple enough. But of course it won't be. Let us continue. Game! Don't keep me waiting! Okay, thank you. So, we've already got quite a few things. Nice scouting orb there. Um, now, I'm not sure whether the scouting orb can be seen by people as you throw it. I would suspect so. That sort of makes sense, doesn't it? But, you know, I don't want to assume it, but, yeah, it's, um, so... But I think I'll just have the one. Invisibility potion for a few seconds. Um, two rope arrows. Three moss arrows, three noise me arrows, four water arrows, ten broad arrows, and a flash bomb. Now, of course, we can. We have 1100, or close to 1200, so let's see what we can get here. A tip for 50. I'll have that. I'll have a slow fall potion as well. Um, arrest some of your downward velocity when taken and reduces effective recovery. So, yeah, that could well be useful. May not be, but it might be. I've already got two healing potions, so I won't bother with that. I'll have another two raw arrows and maybe some more moss arrows maybe one and possibly some what the arrows in fact another number of moss arrows I've already got two invisibility portions so that's pretty nice um let's make it arrow is 250 so I can't afford that that's okay though 250 again it's going up 300 and that is 600 bloody hell um so I think we'll get another moss arrow and two more water arrows and that will about do i think that'll be just fine let's save our game framed um and check out our tip control panel on the front desk could not only open the main gates but also disable the alarm system shoals gate is loaded with hidden entrances and secret levers don't hesitate to go through the people's garbage. You never know what you might find. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you. So, a good human potion, all this good stuff. Okay. And, of course, nice maps. Gate entrance there, gate entrance there. And there's a basement. Is it just going to get through the drain? 
there's a big moat. Maybe some sort of grate in there I can use as well. Uh, there's a utility building. Yeah, so I can get in there as well, possibly. Notes. And there's a basement. That's inside. We'll worry about that when we get inside. Second floor, first floor. And that's evidence storage. Basement. All right, so we're cut and this is the general map of the area. We've quite a lot to go on here. Better check my map. Just did. Gareth. Is it Gareth? Gareth. Gareth. Not Gareth. Get really annoying if you were to live somewhere near these lights. Listen to them. Don't know if you can hear them, but they're going. Zoom, 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 zoom. Anyway. More of that. All right. I, I know. I, I, I know. Now you can stop with the silly things. I don't want to go in there just yet. There's a turret. I'm going to call it a turret. It's a camera turret thing. Oh, like, oh, tavern. Oh, come on. Why isn't the tavern open? Yes, yeah, so that's here. That's the tavern. Oops. Surely I can get into the tavern. Okay, my first objective. Yep, definitely get into the tavern, and that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if I can get into the bloody tavern. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a nice little bonus. <laughs> Maybe the back way into the tavern. That's not even a door. So I guess I'll just uh, go ahead and pick the lock, right? Yeah, that's not a good way to go in. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and uh, get in uh, get in the tavern. Change of plan. You know, we need, we need some... Uh, Booze. Some Scotch Courage. I think it's called Scotch Courage. No? Right this. There we go. First thing we do is break into the tavern. Ah, what is. Okay, just go into there. Loose change to start the night with. Ah, my favorite year. <laughs> well, that's that then. Don't see anything else in here. Of course, it doesn't mean there isn't anything, but. And there's no trapdoors or anything. Okay. Someone's broken into the tavern! So what is this other building? It's down here. <laughs> yes. I don't think this was anything. Nope. That is nothing. This is nothing. Of course, I don't whether know whether I'll be actually uh, Arrested, or you know, if, if people will be hostile to me if I'm seen out here. There's no one here anyway, but you know, if if there was a guard around here, whether he'd be like, Stop thief! Because it's like it's the street. So here is the utility building, which will lead into the drain, which in turn will lead into um, the station. So. Alright, let's have a look and see if we can get into this utility station, which obviously is what you're supposed to do. It's probably not the only way in. I'd be dis disappointed if it was, actually. It's probably a way through in the moat. I might check that out anyway. Just because. So, sort of like, I'm curious! Curious. Let's go ahead and save this now. There's no one 
Yep, that I can see. This looks like the way in. A way in. Breath potion. Oh, well. Yeah, obviously it goes underwater. I'm not keen on that, honestly. We're going to have a little more of a look around. Do I play with the machine? I don't know what the machine does. Ooh, what does this button do? Eh, that looks reasonably hostile. What does the other one do? All the dials go crazy. Mm, probably a bad idea. And no, I'm not just going to jump in it. But if I get on this ledge... I will, I will die and die, die, die. Die, burn and die to die to death. That makes sense. That makes... Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fair enough. But I do wonder the point of that. Um... I guess the station just have some sort of source of power and it's steam and they'll need the fire for that. So yeah, fair enough. Let's load this. We've got our first death over with anyway. And I'm going to sneeze. But I saved you from it. So we have that way. This is a way we can go. But it looks... It looks... It looks kind of scary. So what happens if... I can't get back around that way. I try and jump into the moat. Over here. I did notice that they couldn't get into the moat in this direction. But what about this direction? Because this might just lead into the moat anyway. And I, I don't know why I'm like... I'm just curious. I'm like, you know, this is one of those games where you feel like you uh, need to explore it see what sort of work's gone into the level design. They obviously put a lot of uh, effort into it and it's just nice to appreciate it by having a look around. That's what I'm doing. Although it does look like I can't get anywhere here, which is unfortunate. Oh, look at that. Yes, okay, so we know where that goes then. Yeah. It looks like the same that end as well. Stay under the water, stay under the water. So now we've got all wet. Yeah, this way is no way either. Well, okay. So I think I will just go ahead. And finally, after, uh, well, no, no, I'm thinking I might just have a look at the other side as well. Just, you know, just in case, just have a look at the other side. Hmm. Which means, of course, going down here. Faster, Garrett. Faster, faster, faster. Let's see what's down this end. Oh! Is that something I can use? Can I lean out and get that? No? Why is it there, then? Tease. Can I jump on? Can I jump on here? Let me use that. It's not letting me. That's a shame, because, well, they put it there. It's like, look, I've got a big red handle and everything. But no, I can do nothing with it. Okay, then. Fine. I'm very hidden here. Didn't do me any good, but I am very hidden here. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna go that way. So there is only one way in. That's a little disappointing, I gotta say. You know, in the intro, it was like, I need to find a way in. But, unless I'm missing something, which is entirely possible, it does look like it's just the one way in. And, uh, yeah, I would have liked it if there were more. But then we're not playing Deus Ex here, are we? Oh god. Yep, yeah, it saw me. 
but I think it only caught a glimpse of me. Alright. Of course, this did, this did pave the way for Deus Ex. I think Deus Ex came after this. It certainly looks like it. But anyway. Um, where's that breath potion? This way! Down here! Faster! Alright, faster! Don't need it yet! And yep, this is where we are. I can't stay underwater too long, or I'll drown. Oh, be quiet. Do you really have to say that? I'm I'm sorry, but I resent being told that. I do. I can't stay underwater too long, or I'll drown. Oh, really? I I, I thought you were half fish. I did. Hmm. I'm not happy about that. This is okay. So currently we're going through all these little things here. Yeah. And there's the station basement. Uh, this way? <laughs> yeah, there we go. So I didn't need the breath portion bow. Somebody less adept at uh, navigating than me would need would need it, I am sure. But you know, I'm awesome, super awesome, elite super awesomeness. So it's all good with me. Couldn't help noticing there were rats up there. You know, rats, sir. Well, I, I bet they're bad. I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. I don't want to judge them. Are you going to attack me? Or are you just there for aesthetic purposes? Okay, well if you are enemies, you're the worst enemies ever. So I'm just going to go ahead and assume you are there for aesthetic purposes to uh, just show that you not many people come down here very often. So we're in the drain pipe. Yep, that's where we are. Two exits. Yep. So this way looks to be sort of dead end. So let's explore it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Maybe one no. I got a few more water arrows than I started the mission off with. So that's nice. And I couldn't help but notice these. They're nice to see. Well, it's only a certain type of lantern I can open. I can open? I can put out with light with... with. Oh. Give me that. Thank you. With water arrows. Okay. Oh. Oh. Steady on there. Alright, we've made progress. Now we shall do it as a different save. Uh-huh. So here's the basement to the maintenance building. I'll have that in case I need to... Uh, Treat that way. Although, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, utility building, not maintenance building. Maintenance. Okay, so that goes up to the first floor. So I, but I could go this way. And this way could be a laboratory! Morgue? So I can go up this way. But now I'm thinking yeah, I could go to the first floor. But now I'm thinking I could go back down here and have a look up here. See what who's in the jail. Because this was a secret, so this was like an optional way in. So once you go through the drain, there are different ways in, which oh, okay, that's cool. That's cool. Uh where did they come from? Were they there before? I kind of missed them. Hmm. 
Oh, I can get up there as well with a rope arrow. And that will lead up. Uh, let's see how first floor. I don't see a well or anything, but I'm guessing around here. It's not somewhere I particularly would like to go, but it is semi... Yeah, it's a basement. And there's the front desk, so I can turn lots of things off there. An armory. So much stuff. And look at the, you know, detail that's been put into the design of this level. I'm totally going up there. Totally. I'm gonna save it though. I'm gonna save it. Here we go. Oh. Here's someone groaning in pain. Very visible. Really freaking visible. Hello. Alright, that's one option. I know I can get up there. Should check my mind to see where I was then when I when I emerged. No, again, I am kind of guessing. Probably aren't here somewhere. I think this was the open area that I saw. This area. Let's try up here. I wish to see all of it. Never underestimate the, uh... Mm hmm Importance of looking up in video games. So yeah, here I am, looking across here, which leads to... Alright, we're gonna do this bit. I am gonna do this bit. So... I think that'll... Stairs up here? Stairs? I think so. So I know where I am. I know precisely where I am. Okay, so there's a stairs over here. Yep, okay. So I know that I'm dead there. Not dead. That would be most unfortunate. jail, so... you got to assume... I don't even know why I tried that door. It was silly of me. There's going to be at least one guard around here. Okay, there's a little... little note. Have a look at a little note. I have ordered that the murderer Schmidt be left in solitary to rot. No one venture near him. I want him to suffer as much as his victims did. Lieutenant Hagen. There's interrogation, holding cells. Not sure which one is solitary, but I would agree. <laughs> Alright. More machines. Don't know what they do. Mind you, one of them must open this. So when in doubt... Use them all! What the hell is that noise? Is that a hammer haunt? Where's my little shadow? I was hiding a little shadow there. Interrogation. Yeah. You guys can't treat me like this. I'm a veteran. Yeah, but that's where you learn to pick pockets so well. When I got back, my family was gone. I had no money to live. Sure. Tell it to the sheriff. He's got Whoa. a real soft spot for war heroes. Oh. God, I don't want to be here. I can't remember how to deal with hammer hearts. Yeah. Yeah. 
It was a shadow. It was a. Uh, Stupid. It's probably just some rookie. Where are these people? Are they interrogation? It sounded like. An, it sounded like they're interrogating someone. Okay, I'm scared now. I'm actually scared. This is suddenly taking a very bad turn. Oh, I can't quite reach it. Where's the footsteps coming from? Let me tell you what we'll do. Okay. Alright, let's eliminate that. Thank you. I mean, that's all metal in there, so I can assume... Oh. a sod in there. I don't want to be here, you know. <laughs> um, Alright, so I gotta get in there. How many haunts are like undead though, aren't they? We'll have to follow this guy. I know that he walks across just here. 